He tried to crawl away, though he was heavily wounded. Something horrifying must have been after him. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Throats massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls. For little sacrifices? Of what? Please do not say humans. Ceremonial bowls? For little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in this. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Doublet scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Perhaps there's no one inside after... I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. <coughs> Open up. We mean you no harm. They... They remain there? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Who are you exactly? Durant Fosher Plamondon de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tucson. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this, why, it's a first. Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a spectre. A Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? 
Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin Throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the Elven King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. seat-yielding lands. The Eta filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elf at long last. The elfin king grasped his sword and shield thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. Erect in his pride, threw his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Don't Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to. Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother!
The sculptures, they came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno, specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Devethev was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Devethev had planned Lutovic's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this. Reward. Farewell. Hey there.
your friend's hand will make for a nice broth. Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our Codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Send your spies after me? My watchers. Were something to go wrong, I could then arrive quickly to help. Managed to find alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. All right, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesham Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshem Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. 
The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the lack. Oh, to a higher vampire's blood. <laughs> 